What's up my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video sponsored by Ludillions. In this video we are going to do this set, well, that you just saw right here. Uh, kind of a jungle inspired set because we are going to use the latest buttercream collection from Light Elegance called Mighty Jungle. And I am actually starting out with white tips right here and basically just because they were the closest to me so uh, well ignore that. What you want to do is to create this on top of a finished filed nail so you do everything on top. Right here I'm applying my colors and then using my block brush and I'm just kind of diffusing the lines so I'm not really creating an ombre here it's mostly to yeah diffuse them a little bit because we're gonna put lots of stuff on top of it anyway so no one's gonna notice your beautiful ombre anyway so we don't want to put lots of time into that so yeah as you can see here just diffuse it a little bit and um, here basically so going in on the pink is still using the same three colors from the collection but just kind of mixing it up a little bit i think well i would recommend you guys to use or apply the color using the block brush when you're working on small nails like a pinky here uh, you have a little bit more control when you are doing that so this color right here let me just tell you, it is so beautiful. It is like an off-white bone white color. So it comes off a little bit more white here, but it really is like a cream bone white. This is kind of a cool technique. So I'm using the same white and I just put it over the green and then I put drops of super shiny into that wet layer and that creates these kind of snake pattern so that is really cool and I was doing that with as you could tell uh, the white color but now I'm going in with black tie colored gel so I was actually you not know, using a buttercream for the black because I was a little bit scared that maybe the buttercream would have been a little bit too pigmented so that's why I went in with the regular color gel instead I mean you can experiment probably works great with the buttercream as well i was just a little scared but yeah same technique using little drops of the super shiny and of course the bigger drop you have the bigger the circle is gonna get so you can see here that i started out with a really big drop and then uh, working my way down so i got smaller drops around it so you know looks a little bit more alive maybe so now I am actually putting flat mat over all the nails, curing, and then we're going to wipe, and then we are going to buff. Because on top of this, we're actually going to apply or draw our nail art um, design or details. So right now I am buffing because we're going to apply more stuff to it, but if you feel like your flat mat is not matte enough you can always go in with a buffer and make it more matte that's usually actually what i do because i like to have it even more matte so here you have the result with uh well the background so we're not done yet going in with the black gel paint together with my stripe b brush from my signature nail art brush kit and then creating these leafy shapes and using a dotting tool just to place the little leaves and then I go back with my stripey and make leaves out of the little dots basically and this is just a really fast easy fun technique you can create these um, leaf branches really fast using this technique so as long as you have the right tools aka my brushes uh, this will be a breeze all right so here I'm actually going in with the shorty brush and I'm creating these um, dots random dots uh, I don't make them perfect I kind of want to make them look like a jaguar well, well not a jaguar but the jaguar spots or um, something in like leopard the leopard area but not really so something to make it like a little bit more alive but you're not really sure what it is 
so just make sure that they're pretty uneven and not very thought through. Here, going in still with my black gel paint to create our little snake. And this is also why I did a matte background so that I could put the snake on top of it and make it a little bit more structured. So it's kind of like a semi 3D effect. So after curing, I actually go in with the green Jane of the Jungle. And by doing this, I of course make the snake a little bit more raised but I also get those black outlines without having to paint the black outlines, if that makes sense. So here I'm just adding a little bit more details to our snake using the other two colors. And uh, what brush is this? I think this is Swirly. So you can, I mean, you can use either Swirly or Shorty. But yeah, here's the final result. And I really hope you like it. I enjoyed making these. I actually didn't uh, really plan on this, it, I just kind of improvised, but uh, I really like the, the final look of this. So you can get the uh, Light Elegance collection, The Mighty Jungle, it is out now. You can find it at lightelegance.com or with the Light Elegance distributors worldwide. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like and comment if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!